going on everyone this is our reviews back with another video and today i have for you guys 30 free cydia tweaks that are compatible with ios 11.3.1 simple ls ios will bring this new awesome look to the lock screen of your device so you can see you will have the clock here on the left side on the right side you have the day and the date that's pretty awesome going to the settings of this week we have an enable button then you have clock style default or simple then if you go to more here you can choose 24 hours 12 hours you can have a black font bold text and you can also use here a custom date format duration is a pretty cool tweak that will enable landscape mode on all devices you can see right here on the home screen i can go to the landscape mode or even if i'm on an app i can still go to the landscape mode that's really really cool so you enable a tweak right here you can enable the landscape mode for the lock screen as well you can also enable an ipad style rotation and also you can enable landscape large folders then of course respring your device for the changes to take effect safari full scroll is a very cool tweak to have on the safari app so you have the bars here at the top and at the bottom they just taking up space with this tweak installed the moment just start scrolling like this you can see the page will go on full screen it will completely remove the top and the bottom bar so it's pretty pretty awesome it gives you more space here on the screen of your device so it's really cool the tweak doesn't have any settings to configure all you have to do is install it same status bar will make this status bar the same size on the lock screen as well as the home screen if you have noticed by default on ios the status bar on the lock screen is much bigger than the one on the home screen but with this tweak installed both of them will be the same size carrier riser allows you to set any text that you want as the name of your carrier you just enable it right here and then tap any text you want here just remember when you tap the text when you're done you don't forget to click return here on the keyboard and then respring your device for the changes to take effect video hood will replace the stock volume hood with the volume hood that we get on the video player on ios 11 so this one looks pretty cool you can see it on the stock video player of ios and now you can have it system wide with this tweak installed anywhere you go you will have the same volume hood return dismiss this is a tweak for the keyboard on any app where you can't dismiss the keyboard now we can do it easily with this tweak installed so all you have to do is just tap and hold the return key and as you can see it will dismiss the keyboard dismiss anywhere allows you to easily dismiss any pop-up that you get on your device simply by tapping anywhere on the screen so you can see it will actually replace that gesture with the cancel button so the cancel button will be removed and now you can just simply dismiss simply by tapping anywhere on the screen pulse hood is a pretty cool tweak that will replace the volume hood of ios with this nice pulsing animation right there so you can see it looks pretty cool so of course that will change based on the volume that you set so you can see when i turn down the volume it goes and becomes a little smaller and it becomes bigger when i turn up the volume easy swipe is a pretty cool and very useful tweak so on your ios device if you swipe here you go to the spotlight search with this tweak installed you do the same if you swipe on the center but if you swipe right here on the right side it will actually open the control center while if you swipe here it will send you to your notifications so you have two more gestures there so here you have swipe down on left you have the center and you have the right right here so if you go here you can choose which action you want to perform using that gesture custom loading text allows you to set in any text you want as a loading text you can see right here on Cydia when I reload the sources you can see the loading page right here you can see I reviews there instead of loading so you just go to the settings of this tweak enable it here and enter any text that you want right here then of course respawn your device delete cut is a pretty old tweak it has been around for quite a while now and it's still very useful so here you can see i have a text i have two words right here if i want to delete a complete word all i have to do is just tap and hold the shift key right here you can see the back key here will turn red if i tap it you can see it will completely delete that word so if i want to delete this word as well just tap there and it will be completely deleted 
Transparent dock is a simple one. It completely removes the background from the dock, giving your device a much nicer and cleaner look. Battery flow. This tweak allows us to set low power alerts at any percentage that you want. By default, we get one at 20% and then at 10%. Using this tweak, enable it right here, choose pop-up banner or none if you don't want to have alerts, then go here. So you have pop-up options, first pop-up option, and you can set the alert at whatever percentage you want. And you can also set the titles here. So you have the alert, custom, custom text, you can set any custom text as the alert from here. So it's pretty awesome. You can also set the same settings here for the banner option. Last time unlocked is a tweak for the lock screen. It will show you right here when was the last time that you have unlocked your device. So it's pretty cool. You can see right there. It shows last time unlocked and the clock right there. Flame. This is a tweak that allows you to customize the Cydia app. So you enable the tweak right here. Then you go to options. From here, you can go ahead and customize this Cydia app. So you have the default page. This is the page that you see when you open Cydia. So you can choose whichever page you want to see first when you open the Cydia app. And then right here, you can enable pull to refresh. You can also disable auto refresh right there. Hold to share share packages and you can see here you can enable a global tint color for the app just go here enable it and set any global tint color that you want spring animations will bring a few pretty cool animations to the springboard of your device you can see when i open an app right here you can see that slide animation the app doesn't pop up it comes from the side right here so under the settings of the tweak you have here a few switches where you can enable different effects different animations for your device so here you have open from right to left that animation that just i just showed you so you enable it right here and you have different effects here to enable and apply them to your device sorry low battery is a pretty cool tweak it's actually a fun one it allows you to set the percentage of battery to any number that you want you just tap the number right here and it will set it as the percentage of your battery right there as you can see so just enable the tweak enter any number you want and just click confirm right here to change the percentage of your battery. Alpha paper. If you have noticed on iOS, the wallpaper on the home screen has like a dark tint to it. So if you have the same wallpaper on the lock screen and home screen, the one on the home screen will be darker. With this tweak, you can adjust that tint and you can see you enable it right here. And with the slider, you can set the transparency of that black layer. So just slide it over all the way here and it will be removed from the home screen of your device. Blue board is a pretty cool tweak that will enable a blue keyboard system wide. So anywhere on your iOS 11 device, you will have this blue keyboard. It's pretty awesome. On the settings of this tweak, you can enable it right here and you can also enable another keyboard, which is a dark keyboard. Just enable this and disable this and respring your device. Browser breadcrumb cleanup is pretty awesome. What it does is that it will clean your browser when you open a link from another app. So you can see right here, I have this link on Twitter. If I open it on Safari, now it will open that website, of course. But if I get out of here, that tab will still remain there. But with this tweak installed, when you tap to go back to the app, and then when you open back the Safari app, you can see that tab will be closed. Bye Bye Hood will replace the ugly iOS volume hood with this way smaller one right there. You can see at the top, it looks pretty awesome and it doesn't interrupt you anything on your screen right here. If you go to its settings, you have three different views to choose from. So you have the minimal view, a bar view, and also a slider view. Count My Messages is a tweak for the iMessage app. What it does is that it shows you here the number of messages that you have. So you have the total right here, then you have the messages that you have sent, and then here you have the messages that you have received. Unfortunately, I don't have any on my device now. Dark Switcher 11 will bring a new look to the app switcher of your iOS 11 device. You see here when you go to the app switcher, you can see it's dark all around. You have just the cards right here and you have that cool animation going in and out of the app switcher. You can see how cool that looks, especially when you go out of the app switcher, you will have that nice animation. 
Glow badge will add a glow around the icons where you have notifications. So you can see right there, I have a notification on iMessage and it has that red glow around the icon. Jumping to the settings of this tweak, we can see here an enable button, then you can enable it for the folders and you can set here the glow color, you can set it random as same as the app or any color that you want and then here you can badge whitelist so if you don't want this to apply to any of your apps you just go here and add any app that you want. Hide setting search will completely remove the search bar on the settings of your iOS 11.3.1 device so if you don't use it and you don't want to see it right there you just go ahead install this tweak and it will be removed. No dock folder blur is a simple one. What it does is that it will completely remove the blur from the dock's background. You can see we have just that nice clear background on the dock as well it will remove the blur from the icon of the folders. No low power alert is a simple tweak. All it does is that it will completely disable the low power alerts that iOS will send you at 20% and at 10% they will be disabled using this tweak. Smooth cursor will bring that nice smooth animation on the cursor when you're typing something you can see right there. That's the same animation as on Office 2013 I believe. So it looks pretty awesome. You can see while typing we have that cool little animation right there on the cursor. Spot clear on close. On the spotlight search if you search something and then you go out of the spotlight search when you come back that result will be still there but with this tweak installed once you go back the spotlight search will be cleared so that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video and the tweaks leave a like and also don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this and i will see you guys on the next one